Welcome to EVE Online. I'm Major Freak. So, all the many ways you can use D-Scan to find a target. It's quite amazing how many different uh, uh, options you have in uh, interacting with the D-Scan in order to aim and directional scan. And uh, let's get to it. So, I've got it at 5%, and I have a target I I set all and got an alt and I set maximum distance and I just picked a random something. I didn't even pay attention. So I'm going to attempt to find it and using various ways I'll kill it um, cheesing the air program for uh, the final blow. So I'll do this five times and there are many ways of dealing with this. Let me just bring up a couple of things here. I can, for instance, not use the system map at all. And I could go searching for it. Uh, I am looking for... A, there it is. I am looking for that shuttle. And it's somewhere in that direction. And you could just go like this, right? You go, okay, I'm gonna bet it's right there, right? So what some people do is they say, bring up the circle and then hover it over here. Okay, it's probably there. You're probably, okay, it's right there. And wait a minute, I'm on grid with it. Am I on grid with it? Oh no, I just selected myself. Sorry, that was kind of silly. It's you're looking for a capsule. Uh, this is for in, in anticipation of the the event for the Easter egg hunt. So it was fun. And it's typically at a planet, and typically when you warp to the planet, you'll be near the customs office because that's where. It usually gets anchored on grid. So we shall kill it. And of course you have to point the little buggers. Oh, um, I thought I was. Give me a sec. Interesting enough, you can actually interact right-clicking on that portrait there. I, I never realized that. It was kind of cool. Kill. So that was fairly simple and lucky. I, I got lucky. It wasn't at a moon. If it was at a moon, this would be probably a little bit more difficult. And they're dead. So we'll go pick up another shuttle. And I'll stay right here. Actually, what I'll do is I'll work to the sun. That might be the best place to start when you're looking for targets. In each system, as you're going from system to system to look for those colored pods that you have to show blow up. I'll make sure to pick them in this time when I get my um, next shuttle. So yeah, let's check it out. Uh, what else can we see? Can we see anybody else? Not from here. And we can see the entire system almost. Now what I'll do, the best way to deal with the, when you open up the system, is to turn off cosmic anomalies and anomalies, and it'll clear the system map of it. There's no option for turning it off here, unfortunately. Oh wait, I wonder. If, no, I don't. It'll show your scanner probes, right? Yeah. I was wondering if you could turn off it, all the anomalies and signatures that way, but no. Just a momentary mind fart there. 
So there's other ways of adjusting, and it's crazy. Um, you can, as you saw, just doing it manually, I believe as most noobs would do, uh, and you learn a bit more by, you know, clicking on that to get the circle right, so you can aim. But there are vastly easy, easier ways of doing this. Um, one way is to enable auto tracking. Now, there are certain ways you can hold down C and see that track, click target. You can say, I'm holding the button down. I'm just, I'm kind of auto tracking right now. Right? Now, there's also, you can see this orbit camera here, right here. You can auto track. So I'm, I'm in tactical view. I'll go to uh, orbit view. It's easier, less disorientating <laughs> that way. It's auto tracking. So I'm not holding down a key at all, a hotkey. I'm just clicking, and it is getting me to where I need to be. I can go, see, watch, see, like so. And you can see the directional scan. You know, now that's another way. That's the way I was trying to teach people last year. Uh, it's it's okay. It, it's it's very aesthetic. I can you know I can click stuff and okay where where's things and I can go I okay I want to aim at that and you know it'll be an easy very immersive way of doing it. It's it's not the quickest way by far. I, and and plus you can get confused especially when you're looking at moons and the way to bring up moons on your in your HUD is to don't see any moons right now, but if we hold down Shift Alt X, we bring up the moons, and now you can click on the moons, especially at, when you're at a planet. But the thing is, you can get very confused when you're doing it this way of which moon you're looking at, and you could miss moons, and then you could get confused and all that stuff. So it's not the best way. It's it's fun, as the um, immersive wise. So let's get the next target. I'll get my uh, target at a moon and we'll go find it and typically you won't be in a system so friendly to your uh, D scan because most systems are pretty big and a lot of things won't be in your D scan range like so okay so I'll send him off to a moon at Course, there's not many there's not many moons unfortunately so uh, I'll send you off to Depari 5 all right we'll pretend it's not at Depari 5 <laughs> all right so that's one way there are interesting ways you can go it's it's kind of freaky but watch this align with solar system map and you zoom right in. You go right in. And we we'll want to work to. We'll first scan for the target, right? There's usually not so many. Yeah, it's okay. There it is. Nope. There it is. So we want to. And we can't go ignore else, like the probe scanner, unfortunately, which would be kind of cool. That would be really cool. Um, but yeah, whatever. Um, so see these green circles, right? Uh, icons right around the, the halos, around each celestial object. That means you're in range, right? So if we go down and see that green, that the halo, yeah, that means it's being lit up in the D scan. So you can zoom in like, uh oh, uh -oh. I'm too close to that. Let me get uh, away from the sun here. Maybe I, I shouldn't go to the sun for That's this particular right. example. So we'll head off to this planet right here. Let's wait till I'm out of warp. Wait, wait, wait. Did it break that? Oh, interesting. It broke it. I learned something new every day. Okay, so we'll zoom in. And 
we'll adjust the angle down. This is used best when it's smaller, right? So we can aim around and see when it, the green icon, it means it's in range. In range, in range, in range, like so, right? So we'll just hit scan, and I've got it mapped to spacebar, by the way. Always map to spacebar. So, yeah. Okay, it's there. So as you can see, it's it's aesthetic. It's not confusing anymore. This this tends to be whoa. It doesn't make any sense. But if you zoom right in, and you just point at things, right? And that's out of range, right? See the green icon. It's not lighting up. And oh, where am I? And there, over here. So what we'll do um, is we'll warp to that planet. Warp drive active. And we'll turn the moons on now. I, I tend not to like doing that, but it, in this case, it'll it'll absolutely help. And the eggs can be at asteroid belts too. Nope. Oh, and we'll need to uh, click on this again. Click, click. There we go. So here we go. So we'll adjust it down to minimal, 1 AU, because we're at the planet and we know, right? So there he is. So yeah, it's just a matter of lining up the moons. There you go, down there, there you go. You can see it, right? So and of course, we're at 30 degrees. And it's fairly easy, but if there's too much clutter, of course, you can go down if you want, but yeah, it's it's very helpful, isn't it? It's like okay, yeah, there it is, um, and it's a fairly good idea about you know which moon. Of course, there there's lots of moons. You'll have to have obviously uh, zoom uh, use the, the tighter angle, right? And sometimes they'll be too close for comfort. Eh, it happens, but whatever, right? Uh, now then, there there are other ways, of course, but uh, let's. There are other ways we can disentangle this because it's just annoying sometimes. We'll go down to, let's say you know that the furthest something away is, that's minuscule, right? It, it, look at that. So we'll just go down to 0.1 AU. So we get a better picture of where this is pointing, right? It, it, it's more user friendly that way, right? So what we can do is we'll turn off auto tracking, right? Okay, we've turned off auto tracking. We can, and you don't, you don't need to have auto tracking on. Sometimes people don't like it. It's very, it's very disorientating. You can hold down directional scan and just click on a target. Right? You can also click on a target. Oh, sorry. Um, how do I do that? Yeah, right. I, you'd have um, auto targeting on. It would switch to that. Then you'd hit space. So you could do that and then hit space. You know, do that and then hit space. But you don't need auto tracking because all you have to do is hold down. You hold down D scan, the hotkey, and just hold it like that and just click on something. Right? And can you keep holding it down um let's see we could click on that oh, the space bar still hold, held down right and the thing when you're first trying this out you might actually let go of it and it doesn't really work and when you press the space bar again it can get confusing uh, so when you're doing this just consider when you're holding down the scan button hotkey space bar remap it that just hold it down and it considers it auto tracking. You don't have to let go of it each time to initiate the scan because pe most people think that you know you have to press it to get the D scan, but that's not true at all. So now here's another interesting. It's it's crazy. It's it's so funny. So um, go all. And we'll go. Okay, so we can hold this down, 
click on this. Uh, let's see. Um, I forgot how to do it. Um, click soliciting overview. So click. Hold. Right. Um, hold down C for track. Right, the hotkey for tracking. Click on a target, and then hit spacebar. Right. You click on the target. Oh, sorry. Hold down C. Click on a target. Wait a minute. Um, wrong one. <laughs> hold down C. Click on a target. Hit spacebar. Of oh, of course, it's way easier just to hold down space and do that. Um, but you're not auto tracking, right? So if you're not auto tracking, you don't feel like auto tracking. You can just hold down C, um, press that, and then while I'm holding down C, I'll see if I can hit spacebar. I'm pretty sure I can. There. So I can hold down C the entire time and press spacebar. It. I wouldn't know the utility of doing this because you'd probably have to. Sure. All right, where was I? Uh, <laughs> a few moments later. Okay, so the overview can be useful if you go to all, remove, and remove beacons, and remove stations. I don't believe they spawn at stations. And remove stargates. So this would be your where's the the egg. All right, so yeah, you can definitely directional scan. I'm holding down directional scan, holding down directional scan. I'm not letting it go. And yeah, just go that way, right? So fairly, fairly intuitive, enjoyable, immersive. But there are there are lots more ways of doing this. Um, before we do anything, uh, there you can do the probe scan. I believe. This is in combat when you're not looking for. Okay, so you'll go distance. I typically, when I think people, I believe when people are, uh, you know, exploring, they'll have IDs, not distance, because distance really doesn't matter, except when you're descanning. And yes, you can use this to uh, descan. So, how did he do it? Um. No, how did I do that? It was, I believe you had to go into F9. There, yeah, you have to have the uh, system map open. Yeah, you can totally do that. Um, I guess we'll have to disassociate. Now, I wonder if that's related to a, because a window, give me a sec, directional scanner, Alt D. So I'm not using the, hotkey for a directional scanner, but I am using right, so I'll have to I typically, when I'm playing, I, I don't have my probe scanner attached to my directional scanner, of course in my usual play and this would be a good idea not to group your probe scanner with directional scanner. That's a pro tip, I guess um, Yes, there are reasons why I do certain things So, yeah, hold down spacebar click on that and it, it's just acting like it's just like the overview when you're just clicking on that. And you, oh, yeah. So, pretty helpful, huh? So, yeah, just burp, burp. Bam. You know, click all those. And we're looking for the egg, so we won't do that. But pro tip for those uh, hunting for people in. Uh, now, as you, could, as you could well see, as soon as you enable the anomalies, clutters up your map. Get rid of them. It doesn't. But yeah, that's for uh, typical combat. Right. Uh, there are, yeah, there, there are still more ways of doing this. It's, it's hilarious. Um, you can manually adjust uh, the cone while you're using the D-scan. Now, it's, it's interesting. Uh, now, how did I do that? Yeah, I think you hold down, yeah, you just, when you hold down directional scan, and you, did you hear me let go of it? Oh, you didn't hear me let go. Well, you might have, but I, I'm holding down D scan, right? I'm able to orbit. And of course, when it turns uh, green, that's when I'm aiming, like 
So I let go of the descan button. Does the descan? It'll wait till I let go of it and then do the descan. It's kind of bizarre. Now remember, I didn't click on anything. I just manually adjusted this cone, right? Hold down descan, left click, drag, right? And then I let go of the spacebar, right? I, I, I don't know the utility of this. It seems to me most, more disorientating and annoying to use, but it's an option. Um, what else? I know there's so many ways to do this. Um, anyways, uh, let's, uh, work. Now, I thought it was at, hey, I am at, now why am I, it must have, okay, so, let's see now. This is planet seven. I'm, I know I'm not at planet seven. And it must have been a mistake when I got that result because it was probably, I wasn't noticing it, but I was most likely, I was most likely to have the nearer planet uh, highlighted in green uh, when I was descanning. So I'll need to find, you know who, and I know it's not, this planet, I know it's not that planet. It'll be one of these, and of course I know it's number five. So we'll just go go like that. Hold down spacebar. I really don't like it. I just find it annoying like that, but it's lighting up everything. You go boop. <laughs> go down further. It's still in range. Go down further. Can't see it. And uh, I can guess I can use light up light up those and remember I don't have to click anything I just let go of the spacebar it's gonna go hold down the spacebar right click on it so when you let go of the spacebar you can angle it more what uh, over there hold down the spacebar uh, don't have enough range for that so no worries right let go right adjust it more let go right so and I don't uh, I don't particularly like it yeah, whatever, right? So, there he is. And of course, I'll work to Planet 5. Belt drive active. Asteroid belts. I, I don't think there's any asteroid belts. Is, are there? Yeah, okay, there's there's none at Planet 5, though. But yeah, either a moon, the planet, the star, or the, or the asteroid belts. And so we'll get range low... There we go. Give me a sec. Focus on current location. So we'll just 15, we'll go 5, like so, and crank this puppy down, like so. Yeah, I really don't like that way. Anyway, so hold down spacebar, click on something. And there we go. Hold down spacebar, click on something. Oh, sorry, hold down. Right, you can't let, that's the thing, is it the difference between, remember we uh, we were re manually moving it and then letting go? This way, if you hold down, click, and let go, there's a bit of a pause where if you hold down and hit again, it won't work. You have to hold it down again, and it'll work. So. Yeah, the different ways, I'd probably suggest you uh, consider one method <laughs> instead of trying to switch between the two because they can get confusing. Okay, so hold on, like so, and of course, there are other ways to do it. Like I said, we'll link it here, we'll zoom right in, we'll zoom Hello. What's wrong here? Why can't I zoom in all the way? Give me a sec. Was it because... Oh, interesting. Okay. 
All right. So the tighter, the less range you are. Okay, okay, that's cool. Regardless, whatever. So that's lit up. You can't zoom in up close and have it big. But you'd have to go like like so, right? But yeah, I mean that that'll work, I guess. And you know, lights up green. And of course that is most likely lit up as well. I'm not sure. Kind of hard to tell when you're that close, huh? So, how odd. Yeah, it's not like lighting that up, is it? Interesting. <laughs> eh, uh, whatever, right? So, there we go. See, get it that way. Um, yeah, annoying. And of course, is the other way. We can, we've got shift alt x, right? So shift alt x, so shift alt x, bring it up again. So yeah, um, we can click on our ship, go like so, click nothing. And then what's, where's another moon, right? And this is the way I originally was doing it a long time ago. You're like, okay, where's the other moon? Okay, go there. And you have to look like it's very messy right it's extremely messy when you're doing it this way but that's just, this is the way i used to do it I used to aim get that circle aim aim oops should be able to see the moon why aren't i seeing oh i've got um i don't i have <laughs> uh it's best when you're doing this uh doing it this way to have um general all so you can actually see the moon when you scan so you know you're on target but yeah so yeah this this is the way i used to do it not that great huh? so there it is um and of course auto tracking you can hold down c and start clicking on things and then see it's i have a dynamic camera on just to let you guys know uh so dynamic camera will shift me. Uh, if I don't, when I click on this, it'll occlude, right, pretty much. So voila, right, and hold on C, voila. Interesting, it's right above. Huh. Hmm. How fascinating. I guess it's your furthest far back enough it doesn't matter right hmm. interesting interesting anyway so um i just prefer dynamic camera it's less annoying so yeah that's how you can do it yeah hold down c direct scan Oop. and of course you can hold down hold the space bar down and you're going to do the same thing just keep it held down yeah just like uh, when you're doing it in the the system map. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, of course, let's see now. Can you? You can't do it there, but you can definitely. Yeah, you can just get in close distance, and you're in close, right? And you're like, okay, well, hold down space bar, click, hold down space. You're just, interesting. Gotta wait till the scan finishes, the sound finishes. Like so, right? So Yeah, you can't do it too quickly or it just won't refuse to obey you, but you just keep it held down and just keep clicking. Like so. So that's another way. Yeah, I know there's so many ways of doing this. It's very interesting. So find the way that's best for you, that works for you. Um Yeah. Uh yeah. It's kinda cool. Um, I prefer the way where I uh, I have the F9, and I can huh, I can zoom in, and then I can hold down Alt. Uh, sorry, I can hold down uh, Spacebar, and just go like that. Um, right. I prefer to see that cone, just for my own aesthetics i don't know i'm weird so i just hold it down uh, hold it down again like that and just 
Yeah, don't do it too fast because, you know, there's a bit of delay, but yeah. And of course, it's a closer in noon here. Center, and can't even click on that. There we go, like so. Yeah, so that's how I probably do it. It is frustrating sometimes because you don't get it exactly. It, do, it doesn't work. Like if you click too quickly, it it won't go there. But if you click again, right? Hold that down. Whoop. When I hold it down and I click, it centers on it because remember, when you click on something in the in the system map, it'll it'll center you view on that when you one click something, right? So, yeah, yeah right. It's just figuring out the best way to work. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, which is the which is the easiest way that won't disorientate you, won't give errors. Um, it would probably be this kind of thing. You'd warp to a planet. You'd find the thing. You warp to the planet. It's not at the planet. Then you just hold down spacebar and just... And therefore, you'd be in space. You'd still have situational awareness. The map's not that great for situational awareness, is it? Um, in close and immersive stuff so you're like okay cool and you can get all those and I like the overview because you're not clicking on things you're not gonna miss anything uh, and it's quick it's painless it's fast <clears throat> yeah you can do fancy things like adjust distance and stuff there are there used to be I think there might be still third-party uh, programs that help you combat D-scan. I'm not sure, but there might. But yeah, and there you go. Um, if I have anything to add, I'll, I'll addendum this. But I think I pretty much <laughs> hit all the ways you can do this. Um, Yeah, and of course, there's auto, auto tracking, you know, it's easy, boop, and you just click on something and you hit D-scan, boop. I don't, I actually don't like this way, you know, because you're not, because remember, there's a delay, if you don't wait long enough, you won't get the D-scan, so you'd be clicking and clicking, but you won't get the D-scan, right? So... This is probably the worst way to do it um, by doing auto tracking because it's just you're just too busy clicking and then hitting spacebar and if you do it too quickly you'll get the error whereas if you hold down spacebar and then do it if you do it too quickly it will refuse to shift view so that's a great way of preventing yourself from missing a target right by getting a null event when it was actually there which is, of course, will because Murphy's Law, right? So yeah, um, I'd prefer this way to hold down spacebar because I don't have to auto. I don't have to do auto tracking. I don't have to do anything. Um, it will auto track for me. Um, I won't have to toggle anything. I won't have to do anything fancy with anything except have an overview like this. But this is very particular, of course because a capsuleer that you're hunting is most likely at an anomaly, right? You're doing a combat anomaly in low sec or something, right? So there you go. If you can't find that, probably add a signature, but of course you need a, that's into combat probing and stuff, right? So that's out of the scope of this video. So yeah, there you go. I hope that helps. Um, yeah, it's the same thing. You just, right? Um, why is it? I th right, the probe scanner, got to remember, you have to go to, and why am I at? Oops, <laughs> that's low. Let's try this again. Percent, uh, hold on space. Yeah, I have to be, it'll only work when I'm in 
Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, just beating a dead horse now, aren't I? I yeah, hope you find that in worthwhile. And why am I able to? Okay, I did it too fast then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the delay is everywhere. So yes, that was fun. Um, what ways can I take advantage of that, though? Can I? Well, if you've... Theoretically speaking, if you've scanned down all these cosmic signatures in your home area and you're waiting for targets to be there, you'd be able to do the same thing because you've probably probed them down and they're now green warpable. So that would... like Because you're not going to be able to do this, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's going to be in a ridiculously large area around here, so this, you're just not going to, yeah, it's just, yeah, I mean, you potentially could, but, right, you'd have to, you could potentially look for stuff in an, un, like, you could, you'd be like, wait a minute, there we go. You know, you could, <laughs> but it would be really, you know, it's just like, yeah, yeah, this is not where it is. So don't depend on that at all. Just <laughs> get rid of it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think that's it. Uh, I have, for the life of me, uh, or, that's fine. Anyways, have a good one.